this is me when I was little. This is me in middle school. This was the year I started skating and it was definitely one of the best years of my life. Growing up, I never really thought about what I wanted to be until I found skateboarding. It sounds cheesy, but like every other kid, I wanted to be a pro skater. But you see, that's like every other skater kid's dream. I mean, that didn't stop me from skating. I grew to love it. But as I got older, I realized I knew I wanted to make money doing something that I loved. Unfortunately, skateboarding wasn't really an option for me for simple reasons. I'm really just not that good at it for me to make money with it. So in a way you could say I made a promise to myself that whatever I do, I'm gonna be passionate about it. Because if there's anything skating taught me is that I deeply wanted to be somebody. And that with enough effort and enough work and belief, it could be possible. Some way, somehow. You see, in YouTube, you have to be unique. You have to have that something special that no one else has and the truth is I haven't figured it out yet. But I'll say the more I work on these videos it becomes more clear that that this is what I want to do. But here's the thing, I never grew up being the most charismatic or the most outgoing or someone you'd have a normal conversation with. Like I was weird. Over the years, I've worked hard to peel off those layers of insecurity and self-doubt and started working on the person I wanted to become. And the thing is, I'm still working on that person. And the same question just keeps coming up. How can I present myself and show myself to this camera in a way that you can see me and you can see the real me? Like, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. There are two things I really believe in. Working hard and working hard on yourself. Let me explain. I've already seen it in so many little ways in my own life that if I work hard at something, something is gonna come out on the other end of it. It usually does. And I'm just trying to think of that on a bigger scale. And if I just believe that if, if the work I'm putting in now is gonna pay off one day, you know, it'll all be worth it. And even more importantly, if I want to have more, I have to become more. I'm constantly working on my, on my own person, my skills in storytelling, and just like trying to be the, the best genuine Joshua I can be. I don't want to be in control of anything. I get to let things play out and trust that it will work out. Meaning I give up the control that I think I have. And that doesn't mean giving up my efforts or my dreams. It means I detach myself from the outcome or my expectations and I trust that it will work out in the end. be able to you know like express myself and be able to just be open and share like my life opening up for most of my life I've been driven by my feelings and my emotions and only up until recently I discovered that it doesn't have to be that way <laughs> and how I do that is I find and I choose to have values and principles that are much stronger than my emotions and my feelings 
that are gonna not make me wanna do the things that I know that I really care about. Not only are my days more purposeful and meaningful since I'm going about them and doing the right things, but you know, like I'm not letting the little things get me down. And lately that's what's been on my mind. It's just really focusing on what's important to me. And one of the hugest, one of the biggest things is definitely YouTube, this right here. And just really focusing on this. And you know, a huge part of me is just like super scared because there's always that like that question like, am I even gonna like, am I wasting my time? Am I really gonna do something here? And I really try to combat that by focusing on like the joy and the fun or like, you know, just, just plan things out and like really be serious about it in that sense. Like how can I make it fun, but yet be like super serious? <laughs> it's like super weird. But I just know that um, I'm gonna be in this for like the long run. That's like for sure. And I'm excited. So I hope you guys, you guys are too.